I did it! This photo! These people! I think I know them. Oh, now I remember. What's up guys, and welcome back to Death Coming! And for today's episode, we are finally gonna make the Grim Reaper proud of us. Or no longer be in debt to him. Come to think of it, I'm not really sure what the point of this game is. Like when we started off, we died, and then we just got roped into being the Reaper's assistant. I've been so caught up with doing a good job, I, I never actually thought why. <laughs> like maybe I'm trying to come back to life, or move on to heaven, or the point being today, we should find out, because this should be the last level. When I go to the souls that I've gotten so far, there's only three targets left until I get whatever my reward is. Act six, every bullet has its billet. I have no sweet clue what these levels could be about anymore, okay? They've been getting a whole lot weirder. The Zeppelin crashed and now I'm stuck here. And being a Zeppelin driving alien, I need to use this skull, which is the key I need to seal it away. Like I said, getting a, a whole lot weirder. <laughs> like it used to be that aliens would peek on women changing, and now they're sealing away magic skulls from Indiana Jones. I have to solve the mysteries of this ancient treasure map. Okay. So we got three colorful doodads. If we can get them, we can get the magic MacGuffin and then put that in the giant thingamajig and we get... That doesn't look good. We're all over it, Indiana, okay? Everything is under control. According to the treasure map, I need to not get shot in the feet. Oh my God. Hand over the treasure map. The secrets are all mine. Never I will find the doodad and figure out. Ah, stop shooting at my feet, damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna hide in this cave. You'll never find me here. Find him! Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. This is. This is confusing. Ooh, okay. Grim, what the hell is going on? <laughs> This is your last mission. A man wants to solve the mysteries of this island. Let's give him a nudge and harvest souls along the way. Why are we helping him, exactly? This always happens in the levels where there's some kind of, like, extracurricular activity where I should just be reaping souls, but instead I gotta help people rob a museum, help save Christmas, help Indiana Jones fight Nazis, that kind of thing. It's, it's just unnecessary. So we gotta solve all of this? Okay, that's a thing. What is that thing? The island is full of mysterious powers. We can use things to control the weather. Take it for a spin. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we have rain, wind, and lightning. Okay, so if I wanted to uh, alter wind, this blows, change, <laughs> I mean, this blows, change the weather for a limited time. Okay, woo. So I'll just make it erect? Don't get any ideas. What an awesome altar. We can use it to control the weather. Thunder, wind, and rain. Let's bring it down. Okay. Oh, and we got a timer as well. Each weather condition lasts for a period of time. You cannot use the altar until the current weather ends. Got it. So I gotta wait a minute. And it's gonna be nice and windy now. Oh, why are there angels here already? What? The power that changes the weather attracts angels every time it's used. You could have told me that before I gave it a test drive. What kind of angels are there? What kind of thing is that? <laughs> Plan carefully before you use the altar. You will attract a horde of angels if you keep using it. Good to know. So let's take a look around first because I don't need any more angels. Ride the wind to cross the river. Oh, okay. So this little bear man is just gonna float around. So that's one thing that the wind must change. Let's take a look at our primary targets. We have some kind of uh, native, I would assume. What's your story? The chief. The tribal chief doesn't normally do anything himself uh, unless he has no more underlings. Gotta get rid of the peons first. We also have you. 
You don't look very pleasant. Mercenary Captain, I'm here in case Idaho Lee tries to escape by sea somehow. Not Indiana Jones, Idaho Lee. It's like the dollar store version of Indiana Jones and my win ran out. That's just great. Okay, and then we have the head honcho. I will never leave unless everyone on the island is dead. So I need to kill everybody else before I can get you? That seemed good. Mercenary leader, a boss that always has a plan B. Just look at the hang glider. Okay. So she's gonna try to escape. Oh my god, there is so much going on here. <gasps> Please tell me I don't need to kill everybody else on the island first. This is gonna take forever. I'm seeing a lot of sparkling coconuts and sparkling bells. Maybe Mr. Idaho Lee would like to come out from hiding and give me a hint? Idaho Lee's alarm, an alarm fabricated by Idaho Lee. Okay, so if I ring your alarm, oh, 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 oh. We got a guy running. You always gotta get the, the runners. Wait, no, don't you run. What did you have to say? Get back out here. Where is the thingamajig? Come on, think harder. Oh, he's not gonna come out until I find it, so it must be around here somewhere. What are you willing to bet that it's inside the mermaid? Considering we can kind of see it here, and we have a target over here right next to a big titty drawing of the mermaid. <laughs> oh, except for this one has a harp, and it's making music, right? You don't have a harp, so we need to find a harp. Watch me reel in a big fish. I don't suppose you'd be willing to reel yourself in a mermaid. Oh wait, never mind. Bait bucket. Great bait for big fish. And mermaids? Maybe? They weren't really into that kind of Oh, oh, no, we have a big fish. We have a real big mammal. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, mammal, mammal, mammal. <laughs> I think that's a whale, but up to, oh, oh. You're not gonna pull that, or not. <gasps> oh, I feel bad for it now. <laughs> I mean, not the idiot who crushed himself, but you didn't want to be beached. I don't suppose you've seen a mermaid around or a harp. You'd think all the guys with assault rifles would take note of the giant creature that just showed up on the beach, but apparently not. Okay, you're hovering over something. A cave, scarabs can be seen inside the cave. Oh, okay. Well, if I've seen a mummy movie before, I know that scarabs just love to eat. Whales? I was gonna say people, but sure. <laughs> yeah, you, you can have the whale. I don't know what that accomplished for me, because again, people don't seem to really care all that much. We got something else over here. Weird sand pile. Dangerous creatures that Hunt during the rain might be hidden under the sand. Okay, well you're lucky it's not raining there, Mr. Suspenders. I could make it rain, but I don't want to attract any angels. I want to learn what's going on here first. We got these things over here glowing as well, and they look pretty ominous. Torch, torch dipped in oil made from thunderstruck branches. Okay, so maybe they'll be struck and lit on fire from the thunder. That's good to know. I want to attract as few angels as possible, so I really want to get a handle on everything. We got more coconuts, but if I ring the bell, nothing happens except for angry old Idaho complaining about everything. Uh, sir, sir, could you walk underneath that coconut again? It, it's got your name on it. Did I say please? I should have said please. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Give me that soul. Uh, I still don't know what the point of this was though. Like, I went through a lot of trouble to get a mermaid, and I just got a uh, skeleton of the big fish. There seems to be something hidden in its head. Oh, I want to say that that makes a whole lot of sense, but at the same time, that probably just means that the whale ate the mermaid. There wasn't a mermaid skeleton in you, was there? I think that cow skeleton was there to begin with. Okay, so I should be able to use this for something. Oh, well then, we have ourselves a living mermaid now. Can I have that thing? Mermaid statue, my harp was devoured by a shark. Is it a shark or is it a giant fish or a whale or what's going on here? That's not odd at all. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, there we go. 
We got the blue crystal. One of the keys to unlocking the seal on the crystal skull. While patrolling, pay attention to the mines brought by the wind. Oh, mines. A mine that's being brought closer to the coast by the wind and waves. Interesting. So if I happen to summon a little bit of wind, maybe? Would that... Oh, oh, yep, that might get rid of our problem. Or not? Uh, crap. What? Maybe they'll just go... Oh, wait, yep, there we go. No, no, she left! She swam away! And you didn't drive into the mine. Why? Maybe I need to activate the mine? Yep, that might do it! Did I die? I'm totes not presentable. That doesn't sound like the kind of thing a Nazi commander would say. They were Nazis, right? We should be able to get this now. I had to restart because the only way to get them to come over is with her singing. I can't have her leave. But I would like the blue crystal now. There aren't, I guess technically there are still some guards. Willing to come out, bucko? Come on. Oh, oh, I can't go get it with that many mercenaries. Great, so you're gonna kill everybody first. I'll get her to sing, and then everybody will come over and the crab monster can have his meal. <laughs> okay, good. So the beaches are looking pretty clean. Oh, and the angels are here. That's just great. I need to strike this with thunder. And I don't have that right now. I gotta wait another 22 seconds. Has anything else changed? Wasn't this kind of empty before? We have a hippo. Uh, and berry trees. Hungry, hungry hippos go crazy over these delicious berries. Okay. Interesting. So maybe... I gotta be really careful with these angels. Yeah, it dries up. Okay, so we'll get back to that. Right now, I want to try some lightning. And good. Ignites all this stuff. So I can... I just dropped it into the river. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, I found an oil drum. That would probably go well with fire, but it won't move. And it wouldn't move underneath the thunder, so maybe it'll move underneath a little bit of rain? And, uh, oh, it's floating now. Okay, so we'll move you along. Then we will burn down the bridge. I see. So we have that, and then we have this, and then we have this. So we need to destroy the whole river, but I need to wait a minute every time I want to be able to do that. Right, because I need to switch from rain back to thunder, back to rain. This is going to take a while. Maybe I should just kill some people in the meantime? Hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> oh, come on. I was singing the Hungry, Hungry Hippo song. There's nothing wrong with that. It was an act of nature. This is bogus? Tentacles. They wait patiently for prey to fall into quicksand. Go away, angels. Oh. Yeah, we have quicksand. Traps enemies when stirred. Shall we stir? Shall we grab? <laughs> Works for me. And our rain is up. Beautiful. Now we need thunder. And then that should strike everything down here. And then we can uh, drop ourselves a log. Good. Well, good news is, I think I found another one. It looks like it wants some kind of bug on its hand. We might be able to do that if the angels ever bugger off themselves. And there he is. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking harder, I'm thinking harder. I, I think I need to deal with him first, which means I probably need to kill all the locals. Can I eat you with a spider? Eat him with a spider, that's a good start. Uh, what about you? Old pot, the yellow soup is edible. I wouldn't mess with it further. How can I mess with things for? Oh, I can call people to dinner. Mess with it further, you say. Okay, well, we got a spider back, so uh, maybe he's hungry? Yep, he was definitely hungry. <laughs> and a snake? Yep, that looks like a snake to me. Go, go, go snake. Go snake. Go snake. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why he needed to be riled twice, but that's fine. What are you running around for? Oh, mysterious chest. What tempting booty. Okay. Yeah, you can take that. Oh, he stole it. Finally, the treasure is mine. That's the thing that I need to put on the thing. 
So now he's gonna bring the thing up to the thing. Okay, good, good, good. He's kind of just doing loops. Like he's not bringing it where I need him to bring it. So maybe I can hit him with a dart? Yeah, there we go, okay. So, oh, then it'll just magically go there. That makes way more sense. The God is angry, we must pray. Yeah, you do that. And then you get Double eaten kill. by beetles. <laughs> All the beetles. Okay. Thank you, scarabs. Have a nice day. Oh, have a nice day. So he'll come out and get that as soon as I deal with everybody else out here. Well, the good news is I found the last thingamajig. It wasn't exactly well hidden, just well guarded. There is a whole lot going on here. There's so many people and so many things and I've done my best to observe everything. And I think I have a general idea what I need to do. I should be able to rotate these around. And now when I get electricity into this from the kite getting struck by lightning, it should charge this up and allow me to do different things. I have this great big battery which charges from the wind over here. And when I turn you on, it powers all of this. So I should be able to kind of move you over and laser beam you. Okay, interesting. I, I didn't know that much. <laughs> I just assume you pull a lever, bad things happen, but got it. Okay, great. Uh, anything else? We have a saw over here that has power now. That works. Come on, like this, this could it be so many angels. This is gonna get out of control. This is why I'm taking so long in between cuts. Just observe everything, get an idea, a game plan, because if I'm screwing around, I'm just gonna have infinite angels here. It's gonna be completely out of control. Oh, this is powered as well. All the traps are powered, I see. So if you go there and there, yeah, you can suck it. Great, perfect, wonderful, love it. Um, What do you do? Death laser. Well, we're all out of power, so I turn the wind on and I get to recharge everything and I got the kite in the air. Oh, oh, you definitely want to get lasered. Good, good, got to avoid these angels. Who would like some spikes in the butt? How about you, shirtless Joe? Oh, uh, no, no, it's gonna be, not gonna be that guy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be shirtless Joe. Big into that kind of thing. <laughs> to each their own. Oh my God, there are just so many people around and so I keep missing the traps by just an inch and now the wind is gone, which is fine actually, right? Because I want thunder now. Thunder, 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 there we go. So that should, right? And then, oh, got one there. And then charge that up for me. And then I, oh, yeah, I couldn't really foresee that. <laughs> I just assume you put energy into the batteries. You don't want to put energy into the oil tanks though. That, that was a, a gross oversight. How did I miss the giant UFO in the middle of the map? That seems like the kind of thing that would draw my attention. The UFO was brought down by lightning. Must guard the UFO remains. Okay. Switch that is not connected to power. Oh, so we need some lightning power. And we have an antenna for that. Okay, so let's summon ourselves some lightning. Good, and then power you up, blast off. Oh, 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 it just kind of reached out. Okay then, <laughs> was it really? No, no, don't, 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 don't run away. Don't run away, come on, man, be cool. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> the coolest. Angels, can you not? But can you just not? I really want to investigate the submarine. <laughs> There is a submarine just hanging out over here. Hadn't noticed it. It, uh, yeah, it seems to be guided by these buoys. I can control where it goes, and I would love to fire it at beachgoers. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. So there's one more person down. Uh, you guys are hanging out over here by whatever that is. That's just spooky. Meat. Food that is susceptible to water damage. Interesting. Oh my god, look at how many angels there are. This is getting out of hand. Round boulders are always useful. Ooh, okay, yeah. You want whatever that is? It's all yours, bud. Maybe? Tempting booty. There's also the guys in the tents. Some mercenaries are resting inside. I don't know how to get them out, but uh, ride the wind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you want some wind? We'll get you some wind. 
you can uh, ride around. There's the angel that I summoned, so now you're doing your thing. Okay, um, I have meat, I have alligators. Those two seem to go well together. Uh, I have a dangling branch. That works, okay. Oh, let's, now the bear is gone, I'll have to take the raft for myself. Oh, 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 good, good. I want you on the raft, right? Rafts are dangerous. So you can go do your own little thing now and float around and uh, maybe I can alligator you. Yeah, I like that idea. Just, uh, oh, I need meat, meat. I gotta get the, gotta get the, hmm, that wasn't what I expected. Where did he come from? <laughs> I just wanna kill this guy. I don't get it. Oh. That's interesting. This was hit by lightning and I completely missed it. So now I have another branch loaded into the river and if I summoned a little bit of rain, then you might be able to uh, smush him. Got him. <laughs> okay, that's another primary target. That's good. I cocked the wagon and ford the river. That's not the cock that I know of, but sure, yeah, why not? Good for you. I need to get these guys out of the way, but they really, can you maybe just come out and take it? Oh, 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 no, no, can't get it. Too many mercenaries. Okay, you just, uh, you, you'll go back. That's fine. Maybe. Ah, ah. Oh, the bell got them. Well then, isn't that interesting? Are you good now? We're good. He got one. Rings a bell and fires a darts. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 okay. We just need to get him as well. Okay, we'll just keep ringing the bell and firing the darts. <laughs> okay, can you please come out and get this? Hello, there we go. Okay, he's got that one now. Two down, one to go. And all we should need is rain and then lightning, right? Because if I summon rain, it's gonna put these out, which is a bummer. I will send you down the river. Is there anything else? Oh, 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 we got another sand monster. Good. Needed to get that out of the way. Um, Some coconuts. Would you care to go through our little coconut forest again, please? We also have this, right? Food that's susceptible to water damage. Not sure how I can get water in it. Uh, maybe I can nuke it from afar? Yeah. Let's just nuke it from afar. A uh, new achievement. Ooh. I don't know what my achievement was, but I'm doing things. Hey, Grim. Oh, I got bronze in every single level. That's what it was. I need to get both of these guys right. If I miss, then I might be boned. But we got them. We got them. So now, can you please come out and get the last one? Yeah. Okay. Say hi to the mermaid. She seems hot. <laughs> Even though she's bottom half fish, which is kind of weird. So, we have everything, but I should probably kill other people, right? Because the, the, the mean lady wanted me to. Okay, he's finally got the crystal skull. It's a, Of course it's a crystal skull. Why didn't I put this together until now? Witness a miracle of strange alien science. Good. Okay. Interesting. We, we got that. Must return the crystal skull. Okay, Grim, can you go away? I'm, I'm working my magic here. She's still here. I can't get through. Got to get rid of her. She won't move until, what, everybody else is dead on the island? I don't know how I'm gonna manage to do that. Please, 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 die, please. Ooh. I got one life left. <laughs> this is, this is taking me two hours. This is a really difficult level, but she's finally flying around. Uh, asking to get shot out of the sky. <laughs> I like that. I will be back. I don't think so. You, you were number 70, trust me. I've heard that quite a bit. So now he gets to move on? Yeah, she's been eliminated. So close I can taste it. Taste what, the face of this skull? Ooh. Mysterious alien civilizations, what? I'm confused. Oh, 
What a discovery! I sense that some people are still hiding in tents and caves. Kill them. Okay. It doesn't look like these guys will attack on their own. Give it some guidance and get ready to harvest souls. So, oh, oh, productive and alien civilization, extremely powerful, equipped with flamethrower. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's all I need to hear. And we're off to the races. <laughs> How do I work this thing? Oh, okay. Okay, oh, yeah, uh, you know what? Tent, tent, yeah, there we go. Oh, no, they're making a run for it. Make a run for it. Don't let them make a run for it. Just fire the missiles. <laughs> oh, no, don't let them escape. You can't let anybody escape. That's what I like to see. How about some ammunition? Oh, there's more of them. There was more of them hiding. They came out later. <laughs> Look at them all run. <laughs> oh my God, this is such a great ending to the game. Ah, oh, this is so satisfying to finally be in control instead of the, oh, the angels are gone. The angels are like, oh, nuts to this. Alien civilization weapons, I'm done. Oh, you know that you guys aren't safe either, right? You have angered your God. <laughs> Your giant scorpion robot god. Oh, there's more. There's more. There they are. They, they were hiding. Hold on. We'll, we'll get them. Where's the flamethrower? How do I activate the flamethrower? I, uh, I'd like to throw some flames, please. Can we nuke the raft? We can hurt it. Uh, anybody else? Any takers? Oh, that's everything. Yeah! <laughs> I'm really happy that had a satisfying ending because that was a frustratingly difficult level. I did it! This photo. These people. I think I know them. Oh, now I remember. They were supposed to die. I must have saved these people. And because of that, Grim wanted me to fix things. Come on. I can do this. Did I really do this? <laughs> I saved them all. For a while. No, you didn't. You broke the rules. You changed their fate. You did very well. Now you will be brought back to life. Are you gonna be a little moldy? It's been a while. You're awake. Hmm. Deja vu? Oh no! So do I choose to save them again, or do I- Oh, I actually get the choice! It's a good question. You only have one chance, so choose wisely. Oh, crap! I mean, they're dead either way, right? And I'm alive either way. That's actually an interesting conundrum, because one way or another, whether they die in the train, or I have to reap them, they're gonna die. And whether or not I stand idly by, or save them, and then get brought back to life, I'm gonna live. So in reality, this choice has no consequences. It will end up the same no matter what, because that's kind of what Grimm does, so I'm gonna save him. I feel like saving. Did I do good? Did I anger Grimm? Hello? I did save them, kind of, maybe, I'm not really sure. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Death Coming, guys, and I think there is one more level. Like, this is the end of the game, but there's a bonus level, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna play it or not, because if it was like all the other bonus levels that we played, it's just like an arcadey high score kind of thing, but this looks like it does have souls to reap. Very similar to the stuff that we've done before. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and maybe I'll do one more episode. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.